tensions are high in the Kenyan capital city, Nairobi. A group of opposition leaders have taken to the streets and they want President William Ruto's administration to deal with the cost of living crisis, high inflation and seemingly there is still dissatisfaction in relation to last year's election results. Security has been beefed up in and around the State House. President Ruto has indicated that people are more than welcome to protest as long as it remains peaceful and people's lives must be protected at all costs. This comes as the EFF in South Africa has also embarked on a shutdown of a rolling black cards and wants President Sura Maposa to step down. Today, we are sending a message to the whole African continent. You don't have weapons, you only have your bodies. Go and put them on the picket line and tell all those dictators in Africa that their days are numbered. South Africa and Africa belong to democracy. Opposition leader Rala Dinga has rejected what he calls intimidation from the government and he remains steadfast that government must be held accountable. Kyle Hle Kumalo, SABC News, Johannesburg. EFF leader Julius Malema has praised the bravery of protesters who heeded his party's call for the national shutdown. He also urged South Africans not to tire to hold government to account. Malema says today's march will go down in the history books of the country. Leading to the march, EFF leader decried President Cyril Ramaphosa's deployment of over 3,000 SANDF soldiers ahead of the shutdown. Malema says this was done to intimidate protesters, but it failed. Monday, the national shutdown is amongst the efforts by the third largest party in parliament to get the president to resign. The Red Berry, out in their numbers, be ready, South Africa. Ramaphosa will fall. Heeding the call to shut down the country, the parties protesting against the current status of the country, the AFF says, enough is enough. Malema and his followers painted the streets of the capital city red. Load shedding, unemployment, poverty, the crime, GPV in this country is out of hand, is out of control. Now, why do you want to sit comfortably as if things are normal? Together with other organizations, they took their concerns to the Citadel of Power. In this house of ours, is the one who's privatizing ESCOM, is the one who's selling Transnet, is the one who sold SAA in a dodgy dealing, is the one that is destroying state-owned enterprises. Across the country, Malema ramped up political pressure while his second-in-command, Floyd Shivambu, took the demands to the doorstep of energy and the economic hub. Shivambu led a march from the dusty streets of Alexander to the richest square mile of the African continent, Senten. Wherever he is, Sir Ramaphosa must step down as a, as a matter of agency. We want to save this country and take it to a proper direction. In KwaZulu Natal, the party also made its mark, but met its premature end as they were blocked by the police. Okay, I'm asking a direct question. Yes. So it's your authority that, that blocks the road for us to say we must not pass My it. is quite simple. No, no, no. I am protecting the community in Baba. From what? In terms what? of making sure that I can have this, this road to be open. The mother city was also not left out. Other organizations also made their voice heard. We've been waiting for this moment. It's long overdue. Panze Garamaposa Panze. Panze Garamaposa Panze. Soro Ramaphosa and his failed government must go. That message is that we want electricity now. We are here at PAC. We are part of this. We want Ramaphosa to go. We want low charge shedding to end. The party's march also gained momentum in other provinces as party members heeded the call from its leadership to join in efforts to try and pressurize President Sir Ramaphosa to resign. Ntlantla Khatlani, SABC News.